everyone. Welcome to the Sam Livecast. It's Thanksgiving week. Oh, yes. And that means, well, I guess it could mean anything. For us, it means that we're going to do, uh, we're going to do a couple little appetizers uh, between today and, and Wednesday. Just to help out your Thanksgiving meal. And we're starting today. Wait, i got to open this, actually. You know, sometimes you can do that. Do what? Sometimes you can just pull the plastic off the top of a bottle of wine. Oh. And it comes off nice and you feel... Like, oh. Most are just going to the screw tops anyway. No, yeah, no, this is not though. Does that top have a lip? Like at the very top where the cork is? Uh, yeah, a little one. Oh, I was gonna say you can try sabering it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna saber it. So uh, I have uh, boiling water or almost boiling water behind me. We're doing shrimp cocktail today. Oh yeah. But we're not buying shrimp already cooked because of those, those are disgusting. They're terrible. In the store, in that plastic lid thing with shitty, weak-ass cocktail sauce. So I've got a bunch of water here. I'm going to put in like a half a bottle of wine. There we go. This is going to come to a boil. We're going to add a couple things to it. We're, this is our poaching liquid. We're going to add a couple bay leaves. Three little guys, uno, dos, tres. Get in there, separate, thank you. We're gonna add a lemon, a whole lemon, cut in half, squeezed and dropped in. Boom, mm. nice. We're gonna add a good pinch of kosher salt, like that. And we're going to add this. We're going to add some peppercorns, like a, like a tablespoon worth of, of peppercorns, like this. Good? Nice. That's going to come to a boil. We're going to let it simmer for a couple minutes. And then our shrimp are going to go into them. And here's our shrimp. This isn't like traditional poaching liquid for cocktail shrimp, is it? Yeah, it's pretty traditional. Oh, is it? I, I mean, you could look. I mean, I know people that add old bay seasoning to it, right? These are twenty-one, twenty-fives. We've done it before. That means there's between twenty-one and twenty-five of them in a pound. These have been deveined. We're gonna cook them like this. Peel them after. Leave the tails on. Okay. You don't want to buy. The shrimp already cooked in the store. No. How long ago have they been cooked? How bad is the cocktail sauce? There, really, there's just there's no good there. There's no good there. And this is very simple. By the way, you could do this the day before if you want it. One of the things I like about this for for like pre thank for Thanksgiving appetizer, pre Thanksgiving meal stuff, is that they're shrimp and they're they're reasonably light. It's not like a huge fatty, cheesy dip thing with big slugs. Somebody didn't turn their phone on silent. I wonder who that was. It's not like a big, you know, cheesy, heavy thing with giant pieces of bread that you dip in. Because often you can get to the dinner time and you're already full. Yeah. And we don't want you to be already full. Okay? So, those are ready. This is ready. Plastic cork. Becoming a lot more common these days, I have to say. Lynn's Thanksgiving this year is a, what are you calling it, Lynn? We are calling it a Friendsgiving. Friendsgiving. Yeah. Nice. It's and that be, means? It's just kind of like, hey, we always celebrate Thanksgiving with our families, right? But what about the week before? Maybe just do something with our friends and call it Friendsgiving. But you're not doing it the week before. Yeah, it's pretty close. We're going to do it this weekend. So. Oh, you are. And what are you doing on Thanksgiving? Uh, Thanksgiving, I'll be headed up to Bakersfield to see my family. Oh, and then I headed gotcha. up okay. to North Carolina to see Stacy's family. Oh, so you are doing traditional Thanksgiving yeah, still. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so oh, I got it. I got it. Okay. I okay. mean, usually we, we do some... Either way, I'm with people I love on Thanksgiving, so you know, it doesn't really matter a whole lot. I got gotcha. you. Okay. Okay, so my, this, this poaching liquid that smells delicious uh, is, is ready. It's doing its thing. It's almost there. So we can just let it do this for a couple of minutes. Once our cocktail sauce is ready, uh, I'm gonna, I'll am gonna i turn that down and then the shrimp are gonna go in. The shrimp really take like two and a half minutes, so. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. 
We're going to make this cocktail sauce. You could start with um, ketchup. I prefer to start with the chili sauce. You see that one? This is the one that I like to buy. Heinz also makes one that's like this. Think of it as a ketchup that just has more flavor. Oh, for God's sakes. Is that my phone again? Yes. Wait a second, where the hell is it? <laughs> Someone's really trying to get me. Mom. No. So it's like ketchup, but with more flavor. And you can see it's chunkier. There's like little bits of, I think, onion and actual chili in this thing. This is really delicious, okay? Nice. So we're gonna do this. Let me put this here. We don't have to make a ton. Uh, the other two things, two or three things that we're going to add are going to be horseradish. Yeah. Horseradish. Notice I said horse. I shot something with Max the other day, and I kept saying horseradish. Mm -hmm. I could not get that out of my head. <laughs> A little bit of this, Worcestershire. Oh. <laughs> you know what? That should be, they should have to make openings in jars big enough that a freaking table teaspoon can go in. That's just not right. Oh my god. Now I gotta go to a knife. Okay, this is probably Oh it's loud. It's loud, sorry. Well it is what it is. A little splash of Worcestershire. <laughs> like what are that? the proportions? Like you see, half a cup, uh, uh, two tablespoons, splash of the Worcestershire. I need some lemon juice now. I've got some already cut lemons. Sorry, Max. It's okay. You're good. I've got, I've got some already cut lemons in here. And uh, I like a little bit of spice to it. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to give it a little... Cholula, like use, use the spice of choice that you like in your family, but we like Cholula here. And then this just gets mixed. And I'm telling you this is gonna be 6,000 times better than the junk that you would get in the middle of a uh, pack of pre-cooked shrimp. Wow, yeah. That's good, yeah. That looks good. Might as well just finish off this horse radish. No point in leaving this, right? Ah, sorry, you don't like that noise. No, it's like the squeaking too that bothers me. Oh, that's annoying. Can't do it. Okay. Okay, now check this out. We turn our liquid down. We don't want to boil the shrimp. That's hot. Come on now, turn down. The shrimp are gonna go in. Now the difference between boiling and poaching is just like simmering water versus boiling water? Or? Yes, good, good question. Master chef, you see what's going on here? You still see a little bit of bubbles, but they're gonna slow down a little bit. We don't want a rolling boil. We want to cook these guys gently. So we'll mix that a bit. Here's our shrimp. Put our shrimp on here. Wow. And then lower these guys, right? There you go. Oh, look at them change color instantly. Right away, right? So and let's go like, let's go like two, we'll go kitchen timer two minutes. Look at that. Those are ready. They're doing their thing right there beautifully. You can already see that pink color. I need a, uh, an ice bath. So an ice bath is going to help these guys stop cooking. So I'm just going to throw a bunch of ice in here. Sorry for the noise. Sorry right. for the noise. It's all right. Sorry for the thing. noise. Sorry for the noise. Do your thing. Water goes in this, cold water. You want to be at the ready with this stuff, ladies and gentlemen, because if you're not, then you're going to take your shrimp out and they're going to continue to cook. Even though they're out of the water, they're going to continue to cook and you don't want that to happen. So you can see where these guys are, right? 
They don't, they're not going to need much. I think I gave them two minutes. I feel like I'm going to, oh, there's still a minute left. I think they're going to be fine. I think they're going to be fine. Overcooked shrimp mean hard shrimp. Rubbery. Rubbery, that's not what you want. Nope. This is a lovely little broth that's going on here. I steal one out and look at it. You can still see, like a little, needs to be a little bit more white inside. But it's feeling like it's almost there. And we've got, what, 40 seconds, 30 seconds left. I'll give it a little bit past that. A little bit past the, the, the two minute mark, maybe two and a half minutes. And then I'm going to take them out and I'm going to plunge them into this right away. So not to impede my progress, let me get rid of the lemons. So I don't need these guys now. Beautiful. Look how easy this is. Okay, that's two minutes right there. We're exactly two minutes. I'm going to go 30 more seconds. I don't have a watch. I haven't worn a watch. When was the last time you do you wear a watch? <laughs> I do sometimes. You do. Lynn, do you have a watch on? Yeah, I got a watch on. I guess I use my phone now. I, I haven't worn a watch and I don't know what happened. It broke and then I just haven't replaced it. I used to do that. I used to just wear my, uh, or not wear my, I used to just have my phone on me, but I just, right. I like the whole, you know, the timepiece. I like it too, but it's I, been I don't have it anymore. It's been I 30 seconds. It's been 30, yeah. You think it has. You're just trying to get out of here. No, again. I'm, it's don't pretty want close. Rubbery shrimp. <laughs> So look at, see how beautiful white they are? Okay, so that's what we want, right? Like this. Everybody come out. And they go in. One more. And that's it. That's what I'm talking about. See how simple that was? That wasn't bad. Now this is stopping it. Water bath stops anything cooking. You do vegetables in a little pot, you steam them or you boil them a little bit. When they come out, if you don't want them to get any less crispy, because vegetables that have a good little crispness to them, like green beans and stuff like that, throw them in a water bath and you're gonna be fine. And then here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna peel them like this, but we're gonna leave the, oh, these are freaking perfect. We're gonna leave the tails on. So here's how this is gonna happen. Let me just say that um, uh, weallof.com is the place to go if you want, and only if you want, certified California extra virgin olive oils. That's all they carry. They don't play games. They don't carry other people's stuff. They don't carry mixes or blends. They carry the right stuff. And this time of year, when you need to be giving gifts to people, I say that's what you do. You go to weolive.com. You put my name, Sam, in when you go to buy something. You get 10% off anything you order. Get a bunch of gifts from there. You'll be glad you did because your stuff is going to be delicious. It's going to be real, real delicious. And if you need a little tip on how to peel these shrimp, you can just take a look at how he's doing it right here. Yeah, check this out. So you see, what we're doing is we're taking off the shells but we're leaving the tail right there. So you give somebody like a little handle. These have already been deveined, so it's just a simple matter of pulling back the shell on either side all the way to the tail right here, and then watch. And that's there a, you go. That's a pretty good tutorial there. It's very good. It totally works every single time. Except that one. <laughs> Why did that have to happen to <laughs> me? Uh. Jinxed yourself. Hey, jinxed where, where do you get deveined shrimp, by the way? Do you just ask your butcher? Yeah, they come. I mean, it depends. You go to the supermarket. Supermarket. If you go to a fish shop, right, uh -huh. a place that sells regular fish and stuff like that, they're going to have them, but they're not going to be deveined. And this would be fine, except if they weren't deveined, it would mean I would have to make an extra step in this whole thing. Once I took them out of this water bath, after they were cooled down, I would then have to take a pair of scissors like this and cut up the back. Oh, I can show you, because I have a shrimp right here. Watch this. Watch this. So here's a shrimp not deveined, okay? The deveined ones you'd see would have a cut all the way down the backbone right here mm. in the back. So here's what you have to do. You have to take a pair of scissors, or you can do it with a knife. Once they were cooked, you would do this. 
and you would cut up here. Oh, you wouldn't do it before you cook them? Well, you could. You could do it after. And then you open it up and you see what's in here. Do you see this vein? Mm -hmm. The black? That's what you don't want. That is, ladies and gentlemen, for lack of a better term, the poop system in a shrimp. Yeah. And so this icky stuff that's on my finger yeah. is what you don't want. So then you gotta peel it all off and now and now you end up you end up with a clean shrimp. That's what you have to do. And so, so when they're butterflied like that, that means they've been veined. That's exactly right. Okay. Yeah, exactly right. They've been deveined. Deveined. Is what you want to say. Yeah. Okay, but I don't have to do all these. I'll just do this one last guy. Such a misnomer. You might as well just call it deep poop. I know. You know what? <laughs> Who wants to buy that, though? <laughs> deep poop shrimp. Nobody wants to buy anything that has to do with poop when it comes to any kind of food, right? So you've got these guys. If you wanted to do something special with them, what could we do that would be special? Let me see if I can figure this out. The shrimp or the shells? No, the shrimp. Because we want this to be kind of pretty. Let's see if I can do this. Are you going to hang him off the bowl? I'm going to hang him off the bowl. <laughs> but watch here. Let's do this first. That guy can go away. That guy can go away. I've got this. Oh, I know what I can do. Check this out. I'll go square. Watch my work here, Lynn. It's hip to be square. Okay. Oh, what are you doing there? Ready for this? I'm ready. Here's how this is going to go down. Show me the ways. We're creating as we go. Are you going to crush your own ice? I'm going to crush my own <laughs> ice, Lynn. <laughs> I got you all figured out. Yeah. Oh. You are the master chef. Okay, so we got this. I don't really know what to, really know what to use. Yeah, I do. I'm gonna turn you down for this. <laughs> yeah, okay. Ice goes in. Perfect amount. Sauce goes in here. Well, oh, this is advanced cocktail shrimp poo. Isn't it? <laughs> Look how beautiful this is. Now we do this. Nice. Perfect. It's pretty, perfect <laughs> it's, isn't pretty, it? it's pretty awesome, I gotta admit. So take a look at the color of the cocktail sauce because it's pretty white. I mean, it's definitely red, but it's got a lot of horseradish in it. And I think that's where you're gonna find you're gonna be very happy with a lot of flavor. Horseradish. Hor Did I say it again? I, I so. can't say it right. Wait, Horse what do you say? I'm saying horseradish. Horse? Horse. Like, like H O R S C H? Yes. <laughs> or even just H O R S H. Porsche. It's okay. We don't judge you for that. There you go. That guy's little. Oh, wow. Let's get rid of him. That's beautiful, right? Who doesn't like that? Ready. That's nice. I would just do this because it needs just a little bit of color right on the top of it. Mm -hmm. There you go. And then you take one of these shrimp and you dip it in the bowl over here so you don't mess up what Lynn has to shoot. Appreciate it. And you take a bite and you go, hmm. I think that's pretty good. I do wonder though if a second one would really help reinforce the flavor of the whole thing. <laughs> huh. <laughs> I think I'm almost getting it. <laughs> I'm very close to knowing if it's a perfectly cooked shrimp, which You're I think close, it is. Close, but not quite there. Third time's a charm. Huh. You gotta make these. <laughs> Seriously, you got to make these. Do the little ice thing here. Do the whole thing. You saw how long it took. How long have we been recording, Len? Uh, we are now at 20 minutes. Okay, so it took me 20 minutes start to finish to do this. And I was talking. You could have done the shrimp in advance. You for sure could have done the sauce in advance. Pretty Hashtag just saying. This shit is easy to do, ladies and gentlemen. Those are 100 times better 
than anything that you're going to get in the supermarket. So don't buy the supermarket one. Do this. It's Monday. Thanksgiving's Thursday. You need to know what to do. There you go. I just gave you an idea. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Wednesday, goat cheese. I'm doing a goat cheese thing here. It's a complete experiment. No. I think it's going to work, but we should be fine. Thanks for hanging out with us. Tell your friends. See you Wednesday. Thanks. Good. <laughs>